everybody so this is going to be my first month of unboxing boxy charm now if you guys have been watching me you know I've been doing ipsy for several years now in the past couple of months I just haven't been super impressed so I've been wanting to check out a new beauty subscription service and a lot of you guys recommended boxy charm so I decided to check it out um, I actually I think I ordered right at the end of August so I ended up getting August box which I have here and then September's box came like a week later so I'll be filming that video next I do have both boxes here but I'm going to show you August first and if you're not familiar with BoxyCharm it is $21 a month so it's about double the cost of Ipsy but they claim to give you four to five full-size products whereas Ipsy is more sample size so I'm just gonna dig right in the first thing when I open the box uh, is obviously a palette the full-size palette this is from Coastal Scents this is the revealed three palette and to be honest out of both box combined I was probably the most excited about this. I've just heard really good things about Coastal Scents, and I think I have a few of their singles, but I definitely don't have any of their palettes. So it comes like that, nice thin packaging, and then when you open it up, look at all the pretty colors. I'm excited to play around with this. Let me know if you want me to do a look with this, a tutorial of some sort. I haven't played around with this yet, so I'll just swatch some pretty colors for you so you can see right off the bat it seems a bit powdery not gonna lie but there's good pigment there back up I got new lighting I don't know if you guys can tell let me know what you think so can't come in super close anymore or it gets dark because there's a ring light back here but those look super pretty I'm excited to play around with those so that's the first thing that came in August box the next thing is from Neos Shield Style Protect Leave-In Conditioner SPF 15 for scalp. Really interesting. I didn't notice that the first time I opened it. So it's a leave-in conditioner, which is great because I like leave-in conditioners. It's obviously full size. I'll come in close so you can see it. But there's SPF 15 in there. That's a really good idea actually because when it's super hot out, your um, part can tend to burn. So I wonder if that would help with that. I mean the summer's pretty much over so I won't really be able to try it out that much for that aspect. but full-size leave-in conditioner, so that's a win. Okay, the next thing is from Micah Beauty, and it looks like an eyeliner. Let me look at the card here. Micah Beauty, yeah, gel eyeliner full-size. Says this retails for $35, which blows my mind because the packaging is so light and plastic, like really cheap plastic. I haven't actually tried the eyeliner yet, I'll give it a go, but if it's $35 for real, like they need to invest in better packaging, in my opinion. So that's that. Oh, I'll tell you what the Coastal Sense retails for $39.95 and the leave-in conditioner $26. So you're all already like with each individual product well over the value of the box. So that's a win. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one for last. The next one is a Seta eyeliner brush. So you could use it for applying that gel eyeliner. Let me just take it out of the packaging. Never heard of this brand before, but it's a nice fine tip. So I will give that a go actually. Curious to see if it's easy or not to apply. I'm really stuck in my ways with eyeliner. Ooh, it's like hard as a rock. Oh no, it's starting to bend now. I thought it was like stiff, but it's not too stiff. So yeah, I'm stuck in my ways with my Stila stay all day, but I will give this a go. And the last product I actually had to email them because it came damaged. This is the So Susan Statement Skin. So add a glow to your complexion with this highlighting crayon. So that's what it looks like there. And then when I opened it, there's nothing in the tube, but I was like, what the heck? And it's all stuck in the lid there. So that was a bummer. I can't even get it out. I'm, I mean, I guess I could dig it out, but I haven't tried to dig it out yet. I took a picture and I sent it to them, and um, they did get back to me right away, which is great news if you ever have a problem. That's good to know. However, they are sold out of the replacements of this. So I don't know if they had an issue with them or if it was just really popular. But they did instead is they added boxy charms. They're like points to my account. So they added 2000 which equals $20, which is the value of this. And then they added 400 more for free shipping. So now I have 2400 boxy charms, and then they have um, like a marketplace where you can buy a lot of their past products. So I went looking through them. There's nothing that I totally fell in love with. I think I want to wait till my charms bid up 
like um, build up a bit more and they get something more expensive but that was kind of nice of them too bad I couldn't get this so yeah that's it I mean the value of the box is what like a hundred dollars over a hundred dollars and it was for twenty one dollars so I'm super impressed I'm excited about that palette I want to try it out and yeah let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching bye